March 12, 2021. <clears throat> Got my axle in. Now that first one there on the right, you're looking at, that's the bushing. Now that other spacer there on the left, well that's a that's a washer. I'll take up some slack there. Slack in the housing. See how much how much space is between the housing and the bushing? Now on the back one, it's even harder to see. You see the bushing. Well, needless to say, it's hard to see because I got the bracket back in. But like the front. You have a bushing. That's the one that's towards the axle. And then you have a, a spacer washer, which is between the bushing and the, and the axle housing, which is how the axle's mounted in there. And it's difficult to see because of that bracket that holds the front of your deck up. That's your deck bracket that your bolt goes through there it's kind of tricky to get those washers in there but when you get those washers those spacers in there you're gonna notice that the axle don't float it's locked in there this one's actually pretty tight it's gonna take it a little wear time to free walk smoothly Okay, we got the axle axles done now. This thing right here, it likes to go up and down. And I, I took I unbolted it right here and built me a spacer for it. Now the spacer's gotta be just the right thickness because if it's too too thick it, it won't turn. It'll tighten up and not turn for you. But since they were both doing it, I did both of them. You gotta make sure that it still turns. But you notice it, it ain't walking up and down and rocking all over. Now, I bought me some front tie rod ends. Pretty sure they're black market parts, junk. That's a brand new tie rod in. Look how loose it is. They're both loose. Brand new. Don't even have an hour driving time on it. Looks like that old wore out tired one there. So I guess I wasted 15 bucks on tie rod ends. Look at that. So be careful about the parts you buy, boys and girls, because if it's from China, it may be junk. So it looks like I'm gonna need some tie rods. Of course, the tie rods aren't the problem I'm hunting here. Problem I'm hunting here is the toe.
but my toe looks like it's just about zero. It isn't really going to matter if it's up on the lift. But shimming that axle has definitely got me right at zero toe. If not, slightly maybe towed in just a tiny bit. Pretty much where it's supposed to be. So anyway, this will be part three. I'm the Shade Tree Mechanic. God bless.